Oh yeah, like I'm not really feeling like these stream beats, man. Cause I don't really know what like you can actually do. I be seeing people doing everything on Twitch, you know? And I don't wanna uh, take away from like the experience, you know what I'm saying? Of a, of a stream and stuff. But like, I want to have like some dope vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like just have some music in the background and just be low and we can just chill, you know, cut out the dead air and stuff like that. But I don't know, I might have to I might have to look into that, bro. Like I might have to just go on YouTube and like make my own playlist with like their beats. So I know like it's not copyrighted. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, I got a copyrighted playlist for like regular music, but it's the beats part that I don't have, you know, that could last like a whole stream. But, you know, that's, I guess that's kind of, you know, things, things take time, things take time, but that's something that I like, you know, just hit me today, honestly. Um, but without further ado, man, let's get right into it. Welcome back to the Why I'm Geeked show man this is episode 29 episode 29 one away from 30 bro and this episode is called small wins and you know we'll get into more of what the title of today's podcast um means but first things first i want to appreciate y'all for stopping by whether you're here live on twitch with me uh in the chat twitch.tv slash nato sensei or you're listening to this podcast on a you know different platform you know all the audio platforms or even watching on youtube man you could be listening watching to anything right now decided to check this podcast out so i appreciate y'all without further ado Lent, without further ado <laughs> let's get into the news this week has been kind of i don't know it kind of flew by Honestly, like I feel like I did a lot this week, but I feel like a lot happened at the same time. Um, and you know, before you knew it, it was Friday. You know, and we had a, we had a new movie coming out, and that movie is Free Guy, man. So I literally just dropped a um, YouTube video reviewing it and um, giving my take on the whole movie. So if you guys want to check that out, you know what I'm saying definitely check out the YouTube channel. And uh, I'll, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but the main point that I wanted to get across in this podcast was that, you know, the no streaming day one really, really means a lot. Like we're seeing it, you know, with this movie and other movies that, you know, didn't release on streaming the same day or same weekend, you know what I'm saying, as... Um, the movie was in the actual theaters and i think with free guy you know it's a ryan reynolds film you know what i'm saying everybody loves ryan reynolds um he's hilarious and I honestly you know i talked a, lot, a little bit about it in my podcast you know i thought he was only deadpool funny like i thought he was only funny because of deadpool but with this movie man it just showed me like nah he's legit like he's up there as far as like you know comedians or not even comedians but actors that are as funny as comedians um, and it's really like, I can't really name that many people that are, you know, traditional actors that are as funny or portray somebody as funny as, you know, um, Ryan Reynolds. Like, I don't, I need, I need some help when it comes to that. So if you got any, um, suggestions, definitely put it down in the comment section or, uh, in the chat, you know what I'm saying? But you know, Free Guy did really good in the box office first weekend. Um, I knew the movie was going to be good once I saw the trailer. But initially, just like looking at it, like I had no idea what the movie was going to be about. But, you know, I really I really do believe that the reason why, you know, these big movies are not doing as well in the theaters is because everybody can sit there and stream it. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm all for. I'm all for it, honestly. Like, if I can save the bread and not have to go pay an extra 30, you know what I'm saying? Or 20 or whatever it costs to, to, to do what you do at the um, movie theaters, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Some movies, you definitely need that uh, movie theater experience to really get the full effect. 
of the movie. Um, I think Fun Guy, I said Fun Guy, um, <laughs> Kawhi, I think Free Guy is a perfect example of that. Just because of all the things that are happening on the screen, it just looked amazing, bro. Um, and I think that, you know, as these deals continue to happen, I think, you know, obviously it's because of COVID and, and, and you know, people still being worried about going to um, the theaters and stuff like that. But I think with this movie, it really proved that, you know, people are, you know, trying to go back. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to go. Um, I don't got the exact numbers for the box office, but, you know what I'm saying? Just know that <laughs> that Joy definitely did numbers. Um, now, as far as, you know, some delays that we got news of this week. So, uh, Venom 2 or, uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage has gotten delayed again. And it's crazy, bro. It's crazy because I don't know why. I feel like the movies be done. You know what I'm saying? Because they're giving us release dates and stuff like this. I'll be having, I've had conversations, uh, with some of my friends about like, you know, what, what they think is really the issue. And, um, he was saying that, you know, uh, it's probably just like a scheduling thing. I think it has to do with these like release date deals, like whether you're going to release it on streaming or not. Like, I think it has something to do with that and like logistics. Um, because I think that like the movie's been done, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like they are continuing to build a hype for it, but then once you add a delay, it's like, dang, like, I didn't forgot about this movie. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you the amount of movies I haven't seen recently that I had no idea that they were coming out until, you know, maybe like the week of because the, you know, um, trailers or like stuff for it, they were originally supposed to be released like last year, like during COVID, but, you know, they got pushed back. So I completely forgot about the trailers. And, you know, I was like, oh, this is coming out. Oh, I'm about to go see that. You know what I'm saying? Like some some things like that. Um, but, you know, Venom 2 has gotten delayed. Um, so that's like something that I'm not really too happy about, honestly, because I'm really excited for that one. I still need to see the first one. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely going to do that. And I think Venom 2 is going to be dope because I definitely did a reaction for it. If you guys want to see that, go check out the YouTube channel. Um, it's up there. And, uh, yeah, man, that's, that's my little, my little DC take, bro. But next up we got, what if bro, Marvel studios, what if, um, I think it started off amazing. I like the fact that we're getting, you know, uh, one video or one, um, episode a week. I like that just because, you know, it builds up the anticipation and gives us time to think and theory craft about like, you know, what's actually going on. Uh, within the the what if you know, you know universe and I think that you know the watcher being the storyteller is a perfect um, avenue for them to get these stories off and it's just it's just a really dope series bro like I um, I basically like explained what what if is like and through like a little equation or whatever you want to call it like it's super easy to understand if you don't really know you know what it really is so what if it's basically like Black Mirror meets, you know, Love, Death, and Robots um, combined with your favorite MCU characters? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like every single episode, at least from what I gather in the first one, is going to, you know, be its own entity. It's going to stand alone. And it allows you to, like, really just be able to enjoy the movie instead of trying to figure out all the different, like, loopholes and plot holes that, you know, you could gather from, you know, just watching all the other MCU movies. You know what I'm saying? Like the first what, what If episode had like three of the MCU movies within one episode. Um, like, and they took different lores and stuff like that and combined it. So with it being a story told by the Watcher, you know, of, you know, different things that happen in different, could happen in different universes, like that's really cool because at this point that means that you're you know um that means that you know your your possibilities are endless you know what i'm saying i'm super excited for um the t'challa episode um up next where he's going to be star lord so that's going to be super dope man um next up we got sonic 2 man we got a new announcement for sonic 2 so idris elba um 
Zahir getting that bag, bro. He's going to be betraying Knuckles in uh, Sonic 2, which uh, I'm not really, like, I'm not the biggest Idris Elba fan. Um, but, you know, he's a really good actor. Um, and seeing how he brings Knuckles to life is dope. Because the first Sonic movie, you know, really caught a lot of people off guard. Uh, just because of the whole fiasco with the initial release where Sonic looked crazy, bruh. Like, he looked, he looked crazy. So, they had to do a redo um, of his character design and things like that uh, because of all the backlash. You know what I'm saying? And once the movie actually came out, bro, that joint was, that joint was great. That joint was really great. Um, Jim Carrey is freaking hilarious, you know. And I'm excited to see just how they expand on the world. You know what I'm saying? Because Sonic is a huge, huge freaking franchise. And it's a lot of different characters. And, you know, we never really got, other than, like, the, the old movie or the old movie slash shows and stuff like that, we haven't really got anything recent that, you know, um, other than, like, the newest movie, you know, that brought us back or, or, you know, gave us an update to, like, you know, what it is. And if they um, actually, you know, keep things going full circle and, and really hone in on like just the overall story like we could get multiple and multiple sonic movies and that just could just be a whole thing and that would be super dope but super cool to see that it just elbow is going to be you know what i'm saying knuckles that's dope i think his accent is going to work well you know what i'm saying and um yeah that's that's pretty much it other than uh, what let's see what else we got so in other movie news i'll leave the gaming for last um black widow leaked uh alternate endings so not literally them leaking them but there was a leak um over last week about alternate ending for black widow i wasn't really too crazy about it just because like you know um i think the ending for it was solid you know what i'm saying like yes like that that leak scene could have had a more sentimental aspect of it but you know overall i don't think it you know that getting taken out i don't think it has such a big big impact you know what i'm saying on the overall story because it's just like yeah it would be cool to see her go back to her hometown and being who she is um at this point that would have been a cool like callback or flashback um for us to see but you know like i like i said in my review man like the fact that, you know, this is happening now, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I feel like it's too too far removed, you know what I'm saying, for um, it to hit the weight that they would want it to hit, so, like, sentimentally, you know what I'm saying? Because we all know how her story ends, but we never got to see how it began before it ended. So it's still like, eh. Like, it's still, like, not really, like, there. But I love the Black Widow, the movie, though. But I wasn't really tripping off the alternate ending. What's going on, team? I know you guys are enjoying the video right now. But I want to let you guys know that not only are we making videos like this every day, Monday through Friday, here on YouTube, but we're streaming on Twitch. We're having these conversations. I want to see you guys in the chat so we can talk about all this stuff live, man. We got a dope community over there, and I would love you guys to join. So check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Donato Sensei. Link is in the description. Yeah, and I'll see y'all in the chat. Back to the video. All right, so as far as gaming, man, we got some cool news um, that at least I'm excited for um, just because, you know, I'm an avid Destiny player. Uh, not super avid, but, you know, I've been playing Destiny for a really long time. And um, I recently got back to it on stream. If you guys have checked those streams out, but um, Destiny 2 is releasing the crossplay for um, the next season. So season 15, that's when crossplay will be enabled. So any and everybody can play together, and that's going to be super dope because you know, for one, like for people that are like streamers and do like. Uh, um, LFGs and stuff like that. This makes their job a lot easier just because like, you know, they don't have to keep switching from different platforms to different platforms to help more people. They can just stick to their main one. You know what I'm saying? Um, some still might do it just because of all the work that they put in on, on that character. 
Um, but, you know, this allows them to just, you know, really help everybody. You know what I'm saying? And not be forced to only help certain people at certain times. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's super dope as far as, like, the community aspect of it. Um, and from, like, a regular person just playing it, you know, um, a lot of people have gone to PC. You know what I'm saying? And going back to Destiny, like, that might be, this might be their way to do that because, you know, I know at least with some of my friends, like, they have been waiting for, you know, the crossplay to be active because, once, like, once you really start playing on PC, and, I mean, I, I can't say for myself, because I don't play Destiny on PC, but, like, once you, I just know from experience of seeing, like, different things, like, you can't really go back. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stick to console, just because, like, that's where my main, like, enjoyment comes from, is playing console games. Um, and, you know, I understand that feeling of, like, man, like, once I've seen this look this way, I can't, I can't go backwards, bro. I can't go backwards. I'm going to just wait. You know what I'm saying? The wait is finally over. Um, so that is going to drop with season 15, which is in like a couple days, actually, I think. Um, so that'll be dope. By the time you hearing this or seeing this, you know, it might already be out. I'm not, I'm not really sure about that, but I know within the next week it should, it should be out. Um, and lastly for the news, man. If, if you tune into the beginning part of the stream, bro, we get, we did a whole, well, we're still in the process. I still have stuff that y'all have not seen. Um, but like, you know, we went through a whole like upgrade, stream upgrade. Um, I'm really taking the time to like develop a real show. Like I love the aspect of doing this podcast because, you know, it's just a very, I don't know, freeing type of like journal entry type of thing um because for me i am like you know it, it like i stream on twitch obviously um but you know i'm a i feel like i'm a youtuber first you know what i'm saying and my favorite part of youtube is the post-production like the editing not not necessarily like the 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 clip editing process but like putting a story together you know what i'm saying and the biggest challenge for me um on twitch is trying to apply that to here um because there's a huge learning curve you know what i'm saying and um the reason why that i labeled this episode small wins is because that's really what it takes to you know really get to the level that you're you know aiming for you know what i'm saying like none of this stuff happens overnight like i'm not like the hugest streamer or anything but you know as far as production wise like I can look back to not even a year ago, you know what I'm saying? And I was settling for like the bare minimum of stuff. And I, and granted, I didn't know all the stuff that I know now, but, um, it just like, I knew where I wanted to go, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't let that stop me un like from getting there and getting discouraged based on like where I was at, you know what I'm saying? Because what I was doing a year ago is what I'm doing now is completely different completely different you know what i'm saying so um you guys are going to be seeing you know from the, the different transitions that we got to you know the new scenes and just overall new like streaming style you know what i'm saying we're not just playing games anymore and i'm excited about that because we're in a gaming drought anyway but like i'm really excited about developing a real show and like that's what you know i want um for this channel and then also you know, I've started getting into After Effects. So After Effects is like a huge monster for me just because of like, like all the stuff that I've learned. Like I've gone from iMovie to, you know, Final Cut to now Adobe Premiere to now After Effects. You know what I'm saying? And it's so many things that, you know, goes into all of those, you know, different programs and, and learning that, you know, it's got me like super excited to learn again. Like I got to the point where, um, when I was working, just when I just had my MacBook, I know this isn't going on a tangent, but when I just had my MacBook, like I literally like did everything that I could on the MacBook, on the iMac that I have that, you know, 
you weren't even really supposed to be able to do the kind of stuff that I was doing. I was just figuring it out as I went, you know, but now that I've gotten access to these programs and, you know, um, just have more knowledge and, and, and things like that, as far as like the production side of things, like, I feel like it's like, like if it's like you get in that zone, bro. I don't know how to explain it other than like when you're playing basketball, right? And you start hitting shots. And the next thing you know, like the the basket feels like it's like huge. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel like you can't miss. And that's how that's how I've been feeling about um, the stream recently uh, and all the stuff that I'm, I'm making now. Because now I have a direction. I have a goal that I'm working towards that really suits me and what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I think there's people that are like natural streamers and people that are natural YouTubers, but you can work at both. You know what I'm saying? You can get better at creating content. You can get better at thumbnails. You can get better at streaming. You can get better at gaming. Like everything's a process. And it's about taking those small wins. You know what I'm saying? That will help you continue to progress and develop. And, you know, that's just one thing that I was super excited. That's the main thing, honestly. I know that's the last thing that. You know, I put in the news segment, but I just had to let y'all know, bro, we finna go crazy. So, without further ado, man, um, let's get into the weekly recap. All right, y'all, so, weekly recap, man. This is the segment of the podcast where we talk about the shows and movies and anime that we saw this week, and even games, but... There's no games out right now that I'm really, like, tripping on. Uh, but, you know, first things first, man. Free Guy was dope. Free Guy was dope. You heard me talk about it at the top of the show, man. Um, I think it's probably, like, the funniest movie of the summer. I don't know a movie that is going to top that. You know, Suicide Squad is close. It's close. But, you know, Suicide Squad is more so action based and just like trying to you know make the most gory uh just like crazy chaotic type of movie that there is whereas like free guy is all about fun and laughter and just like life and gaming and it's like it's just a whole different beast and ryan reynolds is hilarious bro hilarious like like i was saying before like i thought deadpool is what made him funny but nah he's just funny you know what i'm saying like he can carry that over um and to actually be able to see his you know facial expressions that's not hidden behind the mask or a whole bunch of um you know makeup and stuff like with with the whole deadpool um set up like it's even funnier you know what i'm saying so that same charisma that same energy uh, was definitely shown to this movie. I think it had a great host of like supportive actors because you know just as much as um, Ryan Reynolds played or impacted them or the movie, like they help continue to feed that joint too. Like I don't really know the best way to explain it, but I do a great job of doing that in my in my review. You know what I'm saying? But just off the dome, like I think it's a must see movie. Um, you leave out that joint like, yo, like, what did I just watch? <laughs> There's so many moments, bro, like, that just really touches, like, not only just my my gamer heart, but just creativity-wise, too, like, or just a world. You know what I'm saying? That, like, I just I just be thinking about, like, you know, what the director or person that wrote this movie was thinking when they came up with it. I honestly think that, like, just the, uh, you know, um... You know npc character ai type of idea i know like it took a lot probably to reel it all in but the concept is so strong that i was like yo whoever thought of this joint is a genius bro like <laughs> it's a freaking genius um and then next up we got what if so what if was freaking fire bro i think animation really really shows us like what these characters can do way better than you know um a live action movie could and i think for the what if series it's perfect because 
it allows them to do a lot more um, with, I won't say a, a lot less effort because you have to, you know, with doing animations and stuff like that, you got to have your own style. You got to have things that set you apart from everything else. And that's a whole another beast in itself. But, you know, bringing the characters in that we know and love and then also um, just putting them in different situations it's so cool to me. It's so cool to me. And I think because I, I love theory crafting in general, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like this, what if series right up my alley, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really feel that this could be like one of Marvel's like longest running things if they really want it to be, because, you know, until like, I know they're doing heavy hitter stuff right now, but Look at all the source material that they have. Like, and I don't know, you got the comic books that, you know, are, are really good source material, like in the source material as well. But if we're looking at it just like MCU based and, and what we know, there's a lot that they can pull from, bro. And it's only going to keep getting better with all the new Marvel projects that are coming out. Um, I think right now, um, the first two episodes, you know, being first one being, you know, Captain America and Captain Carter or Agent Carter um you know howard stark um super strong characters like uh you know bucky and just like you got to start with captain america like you know it's the first adventure you know so it's like it makes sense right it makes sense that they would start with that but i think they're starting with like really strong characters um and then having um t'challa's episode next with you know chat with bozeman um i think that you know is going to be really dope um to see and i'm just like really excited to see like all the stuff that we don't know yet you know like i don't know bro i just i just i like it so much bro There's so many things that go into it and the fact that they're combining so many different movies within one and some even you know probably tv shows within like one episode and the episodes are like decently long and the animations is beautiful like bruh this giant marvel can't miss bruh marvel can't miss um next up the next thing i want to talk about man is tokyo revengers so tokyo revengers had you know its big episode this week right we had toman versus um valhalla you know what i'm saying and um this is like a much anticipated fight right but the thing is for me, when I initially saw it, you know what I'm saying? I was hyped. I was super hyped. I was, I, I loved the episode. You know, um, I think that one thing I've noticed, you know, even before this thing I'm about to talk about was said um, during the actual episodes. And I've talked about, in, you know, my first impressions of the show um, is that the fight scenes and like just the different fighting animations and, and, you know, animations in general that we got to see, you know, I won't say it's limited, but like it's never been like the real focus. The focus has been the dialogue, right? But when it comes to action, you know, there's definitely those action moments in there. But apparently, you know, the manga readers for Tokyo Revengers are livid, bro. And I don't use livid lightly. Like they're livid. They're mad, bro. Because apparently, you know, this fight didn't live up to the manga's um, expectations. Like, apparently, like, this fight in manga form, you know, was way crazier and way more dope. Whereas, I feel like with the anime, they were, you know, going for something a little different. I haven't seen the manga, so I don't, I don't know what their objective was in that and how it's different. But, you know, people are upset. And that's crazy to me because I thought the episode was great. You know what I'm saying? But that's the that's the price you pay when you just watch like just the anime straight up. You know what I'm saying? But you know maybe maybe one day I'll start reading reading manga. I don't know. I can't. Mm. Nah, I can't fade it. But <laughs> nonetheless, bro, Tokyo Revengers is is dope. Um, that man Mikey is a beast. Draken, you know. He did a lot less than what I thought he was going to be able to do. 
you know, uh, as far as like, you know, crucial moments within it. But he definitely showed and showed out for sure. And Takamichi, bro, Takamichi was going crazy. And it was hilarious because this man still can't fight for real. But when he finally got the courage, you know what I'm saying? He was throwing some wild jumps. Like, <laughs> you know, he was throwing some wild jumps. But um, nonetheless, bro, I really liked, I really liked this show. I really liked that anime. And I can't wait for the next episode because it's not over. It might look like it's over. But I don't feel like it's over. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, but... I might change my tune in the next episode if something crazy doesn't happen. But let's start and look at some um, DC EU stuff. So Titans, Titans season three dropped, right? And initially, I thought the whole season dropped, but it was only three episodes, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that because it allowed us time to actually get, you know reacquainted with the characters if we haven't been watching for a while a long time but for me since i just finished the second season not too long ago i was super hyped like because we got three episodes like off the bat um i really like watching you know one episode a week like i don't know i might be in a minority with that like rather than getting the whole thing like um you know, straight up, like how Netflix does things, but that might just be the content created in me because it allows me to really dive in and think about, you know, what happened in each episode, but I also like when they start us out with, like, three because we can get a, a really good understanding of um, what the show is about and, you know, where we're headed, you know what I'm saying, and I think, I think y'all are right, man. I put out a tweet not too long ago. Um, asking if, you know, Red Hood is way, is cooler than Nightwing. You know what I'm saying? And in this show, bro, he's kind of, he's kind of proving y'all right. I'm not going to fake, man. Jason Todd is crazy. He's crazy, bro. Like, and I'm, I'm going to talk about it, um, in, in, in my first impressions video of the season, but like, bro, he might, nah. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the Joker did to that man, but this man is messed up in the head. Like the way the way some people went out in his first few episodes is crazy. Y'all have to watch it. Y'all have to. I don't only I don't want to spoil it just because of how good, you know, all of this led up to it, but I I thought there was going to be a completely different ending to this first three episodes. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because this show is not, I don't want to say it's not supposed to be this good, but that's, that's my attitude towards, you know, um, DCEU, like just because of what we've gotten in the past. Um, I just hope that, you know, this doesn't necessarily like go the flash route where, they just keep stacking up on, stacking up on, you know, um, different situations instead of, like, making every encounter mean something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get used to everything working out okay, like, for these shows. Like, I like when these shows have, you know, like, losses, you know, because it makes it that much more real. Um, and obviously, like, you know, there's parts that are supposed to be canon um, that that happen. But I'm, I'm really just excited to see how they really tell Jason's story um, as Red Hood. I think they did a really good job um, for uh, Dick Grayson as, as Robin and then Nightwing up until this point. But, you know, with Jason Ty, we're going to get the opposite side of that. You know what I'm saying? Um and yeah man gotham is crazy too gotham is way crazier than um san francisco and i don't know why i i, I wondered this um but you know teen titans they call it san francisco like we all knew it was san francisco but they call it jump city and i wonder why they call it jump city you know what i'm saying just like how gotham is like i think brooklyn I don't know. I, I might be super cap on that. But, you know, Gotham is different parts. 
Gotham and, and um, Metropolis are different parts of New York, you know? And I think that, like, that's just crazy. I never, I never understood why it was called, like, Jump, Jump City. I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's, I guess, besides the point. But that's pretty much all I got for um, Titans so far. I will be dropping the first impression. It's, probably, it's already be out by the time you guys are hearing this on um, audio and YouTube. So just go check that joint out. You know what I'm saying? To get my full first impressions, bro. Next up, though, we're talking some Star Wars, man. Star Wars The Bad Batch. I'm going to be real with y'all. I ain't dropped my review yet, but that's not going to be very good, honestly. Because Star Wars The Bad Batch is super mid, bro. It's super mid. I even watched it back again, like the finale. Um, but, like, bro, I, I hope there's another season. Because they can't, they can't do this like this. Because there's so many important things happening, like, during... Um, during this like era of Star Wars, you know, we got the building like the building of the Empire, you know, like this is in the, in the infancy stages, bro. And I feel like they missed the opportunity to really, you know, capitalize on that because there's so many things that we don't know. Like we don't know what it was like from the clone side of things, like as they were getting phased out, like we've gotten little pieces and bits of that within um this show but it just felt like a never-ending side quest like nothing felt pertinent nothing felt like it was going to affect like the whole you know star wars universe and who and maybe you know maybe this show was not meant to be that but you know with shows like star wars the clone wars you know being its predecessors and then you got Star Wars Rebels, you know, where it's a whole different era, but like it's an era after this, like literally after this. Um, and we've seen Star Wars Rebels characters within this too. Like they found a way to make themselves feel important in, in, in the mission that they're on, feel important. Like the Bad Batch so far hasn't done that. All it's really done is introduce us to people and show us people we already know but they haven't like there's nothing that they've done that has really like affected the overall like universe you know and i'm i'm not really feeling it honestly i'm not i'm not really feeling it um i want to hear some of you guys takes on it but like from what i've been seeing bro and like everybody loves it, but I just not. I'm not really feeling that joint like that. Like, and, and that's if you even got to this point, because I can understand you not, you know, even finishing it. Because I even got to the point where I missed some. I missed some weeks because it's like nothing really be happening, bro. Nothing really super crazy, you know, that affects more than just their group. Really happened. Like, I, it was cool learning about, you know, how they were created and, you know. A little bit about why they were created but that's as far as you know we got and none of the stuff that they really was saying wasn't anything that I couldn't you know gather on my own just from curiosity or just from theory standpoint like it was cool to get some clarity but nothing that we learned really you know nothing that we learned really um like how ah, what's the word I don't know what the I don't know the word is, but nothing nothing really happened to where like it affected more than you know just them and their group, like at least at least in my opinion, you know what I'm saying. But that's that's pretty much it for um, Star Wars. As far as like my hero, uh, we missed a week prior to this. And we got the next episode this week um, that just happened. So with this episode, man, I'm I'm getting excited um, just because we I know that the the internships aren't gonna last forever, and a lot of stuff is happening behind the scenes, and we're getting to see that. But I'm excited to learn more about how the villains 
are really man manufacturing these nomus and, and what they're really doing to these people because the whole like dynamic between heroes and villains is like you got the gifted and the ungifted or you know you got the yin and the yang and um whereas like you know the the heroes are trying to keep the peace right they're trying to get people stop people from abusing their power you know what i'm saying then you got the villains who goal is to you know um equal equalize people you know what i'm saying and they're using like regular everyday heroes or not even heroes but citizens that didn't have what it took to be a hero and you know either got caught up doing something or they saw potential in in them and gave them a reason to you know be here you know what i'm saying like with with a lot of the characters um and to see what they're doing with like these like experimental quirks and enhancers and stuff like that is super cool to me because um finding out that like some of these people are nomus and seeing if you know they're really um bringing back the dead is crazy like that's crazy bro that's a crazy crazy freaking concept and to know that you know a war is coming has me excited but um the thing i'm most excited for you know other than just seeing you know deku and, and the rest of the gang continue to get stronger and seeing what their potential is but really it's to understand what the the villain's actual like goal and plan is you know what i'm saying because before like they didn't really have no hope because there was an all might there but now there's not an all might you know people are vulnerable you know what i'm saying and um even though you know uh even though what's the name's fight with the nomu showed that like he can he can stand up to um whatever like the best that they got but like and and, and I'm, I'm talking about endeavor um uh, if you didn't i know i didn't say it but i was trying to remember his name but you know he was badly beaten bro like badly beaten you know what i'm saying there's and there's certain limits to his powers so if anything i think he's just going to be a force um in this fight you know he's just going to be able to to bend his will um i guess like you know the stronger um uh, opponents or just like a mass amount of, of opponents you know and then that'll you know either um hype up deku and, and shoto and, and bakugo to, to continue to get better and surpass the limits or um you know something else will happen i don't know but you know that's probably that's looking way too far down the line and i don't know what happens in the, in the manga so you know that's just that's just my guess but you know i'm liking these episodes um they still feel like hit and miss like i feel like based on you know the track record like the next episode is going to be really really good but you know the the, the most recent one was just okay you know what i'm saying it was just it was just all right um but that's pretty much it for you know the recap man like I think that, you know, we got a lot of good stuff um, coming out soon. You know, we got a uh, protege and uh, it was Dune. I'm excited for Dune um, and a whole lot of other other movies and stuff like that. But um, without further ado, man, let's get into the last part of the podcast. And that is the filler arc. All right, y'all. So for the filler arc, this episode is going to be pretty short. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I really, really am feeling this gaming drought, bro. Like, there's nothing to really play that, that at least interests me that is out currently. And I don't think it will. I don't think it'll start getting, getting hype again until they stop delaying these games. Um, and I don't want them to, like put out a bad game but i really feel like there's a fear now of backlash based off of you know what happened with cyberpunk i really i'm really feeling the effects of that because um ever since then at least at least in my opinion ever since then bruh like if 
the game's not like super like perfect and everything that they can do is is um there like people that playstation's not playing with them bro they be offering refunds and all that stuff like you, you don't really see that a lot you know what i'm saying you don't really see that a lot and um i really feel like they're feeling the pressure of putting out not only just a, a, a game that works but putting out a good game and i feel like um it just keeps getting delayed and that sucks but you know i'd rather have good games but right now it's tough bro it's tough like i don't know what to play you know what i'm saying i'm playing through games i've already played through um just on ps5 you know it's just to see like the difference but you know as far as like new games like i seen that i seen a new game that's like a battle royale but it's like ninjas or like something like that but i'm just now nah, i'm over i'm over the battle royales bro i'm over it man i'm over it i want something new like i want something a new like experience and you know the that game i don't i don't know what the name of it is but you know a lot of people are playing it and a lot of people are enjoying it um but i'm just i looked at it and i was like nah that's that's not it for me <laughs> And that might that might just be me, bro. I might just be the one that's tripping. Um, but you know, like the the gaming drought is crazy, bro. Cause stuff keep getting delayed. Like I'm I'm still waiting for Kenna to drop. Um, that's gonna take another month. Now that that got delayed, and you know we got the we got the Ghost um, Director's Cut with the DLC. That'll be fire. You know. Uh, like I was saying last week, they announced that there's gonna be another another Jedi Fallen Order game or Jedi Jedi game, um, and I just like I don't know, it's it's tough out here, you know. <laughs> Let me know what y'all are playing. I'm curious. Like, are y'all really playing the game right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I know they had like Mass Effect and a whole bunch of like remasters that's come out, um, but like, are y'all really like? gaming bro like we used to be gaming bro like stuff was coming out and it was just fire like endless fire all year but you know we haven't we haven't gotten necessarily back to that just yet um the next thing that you know uh, i was going to talk about was you know i got my first um twitch check or it's not even a check but just like payout you know and i think that you know it's crazy it's crazy to to say that i that happened it's not that i never thought it would happen um but you know what i'm saying it's just a long it's a long time coming bro it's a long time coming so i want to thank y'all um, for all the the love and support that y'all have shown me um not only just on the twitch platform but everywhere bro everywhere um every, all all the stuff and all the support that y'all give me um allows me to continue to create this content and um you know just just continue to develop and, and be great bros and it's just like that's another that's another o to the title man small wins like it wasn't a huge check by any means like like you know what i'm saying it wasn't huge but the fact that i got one is crazy bro it's crazy and it's just the beginning um and the last thing that i want to talk about is youtube shorts youtube shorts be going crazy bro like they they literally be hit or miss but if they hit like i can see that joint just going stupid you know what i'm saying and i've been trying to figure out I've been trying to figure out like you know the best way to go about it and I think I'm starting to figure it out a little bit just a little bit you know but that's allowing me to put out a little bit more stuff but um let me know what you guys think of the shorts man uh and yeah that's that's pretty much it for this episode man this episode 29 next one is 30 bro 30 episodes man that's crazy that's crazy but I want to thank y'all for tuning in once again um leave a like leave a rating like a, a five-star rating if y'all really enjoyed the podcast on whatever um audio platform that you're listening to this on subscribe on youtube man and hit the follow button on twitch every bit of support you know helps out the channel and i really appreciate it man uh, we do this live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Donato Sensei, and it will go live on YouTube and all your favorite audio platforms um, on Wednesdays. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I appreciate y'all. I'm head up out of here, man. Y'all know the vibes. Always keep growing. Keep going, sweet boy. G, I'm gone. Peace.
Dang, I know they like that video, bro. That's crazy. I can't wait to see the comments. Whoa, what are, you, what are you still doing here? Well, since you're here, you might as well hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because if you didn't, what are we really here for? If, you, if you're still here at this point, you probably still want to know and talk more about it. So come through on the Twitch stream, man. Twitch.tv slash Donato Sensei. I want to see you in the chat. Let me know you came from YouTube and we could talk about today's video. Discuss anime, movies, films. Y'all already know what it is, bro. Wait, that's still not it? Oh, I know what it is. You was wondering about this drip right here. Well, you can check that out on IG, Growth Apparel. That's Growth Apparel, G-R-W-T-H. It's on the screen right now. So go copy with T, man. I'm going to see y'all in chat. I'm going to see y'all in these comments. I appreciate y'all once again. Y'all already know I rocks with you, bro. Let me... I'm out of here. You still here? Ah, oh, y'all gang.